Autumn 1989. As East Germany's communist regime was crumbling, demonstrators gathered outside the archives of the despised Stasi secret police. Inside, its staff scrambled to destroy the evidence of its vast spying apparatus. Thousands of secret documents were shredded over the course of several weeks. Recovered and collected in sacks, the fragments of paper waited 15 years to be pieced together. It's a painstaking task that dozens of people work on every day. I sort the fragments by colour, as you can see here, or by the kind of paper. These are maps, and that's probably a school textbook. With about 15,000 bags of scraps to reconstruct, doing it all by hand could take centuries. In 2007, the German parliament authorised the use of a digital programme to speed up the process, at a cost of about 8 million euros. The benefits of digital reconstruction lie in the fact that it helps you to decipher the content from very small scraps much more quickly and at a lower cost. Still in the testing phase, the program scans the scraps of paper on both sides to compare the shape and colour and the fonts used. Once it's ready, the Fraunhofer Institute, which developed the program, plans to put 400 bags of documents back together. The documents have sometimes been torn up so much that it takes hours to finish them, but that's nothing compared to the time taken to reconstruct them by hand, which can take weeks or months. The puzzle work that has already been completed manually has allowed some Stasi informants to be unmasked. While none will face criminal prosecution, most will be blacklisted for jobs in the public sector, as Eastern Germany works to draw a line under its repressive communist past.